What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Josh, in today's video I'm going to be taking you through a full body strength and conditioning workout. Okay guys, so today's workout is going to be a combination of high intensity moves, it's going to be some isolation moves, um, body weight exercises, and we're also going to be using a resistance band. Um, you've seen me use this in a few videos already. Uh, if you haven't got one, I'd recommend that you do purchase one. Um, I'll drop the link below to a couple of places where you can pick them up from. They're pretty cheap, you can pick up a set for 10 to 15 pounds and they're very, very useful, um, especially during the current times. Um, because you can do a lot of movements with these from home. Okay, so we're gonna be doing eight exercises today. We're gonna to be doing each exercise for 30 to 45 seconds. Um, I'll take you through each movement, and I'd recommend that you do four to five rounds, um, taking one minute rest in between rounds. That'll give you about 15 to 20 minutes worth of work. So it's gonna be a really nice, high intensity session, a bit of strength and conditioning in there. So when you're ready, let's get going. Okay, so the first exercise is going to be a jump squat. So we're going to take our feet roughly shoulder width apart. We're going to squat down and then we're going to jump in the air. We're going to do this for 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, so the next exercise is going to be a jump lunge. So we're going to start in the lunge position and we're going to alternate sides with a jump in between. If these are slightly too difficult, um, you can just do a normal conventional lunge alternating legs. Okay, so the next exercise is going to be a seated row. Um, we're going to need our resistance bands for this. Um, I've got mine secured to the bottom of the door. But you could equally tie yours around a door handle, bed frame, um, anything you like. So we're going to take it to the floor. We're going to grab the handles. We're going to get a little bit of resistance on the band. We're going to lean back slightly and we're going to pull the handles into our tummy. And again, 30 to 45 seconds, making sure that you squeeze those back muscles each time. Okay, so the next movement we're going to do is a press up. So we're going to go onto the floor again. We're going to position our hands roughly shoulder width apart. We're going to keep our back nice and flat. If this is slightly too difficult, you can do it off your knees. And we're going to do it for 30 to 45 seconds. The next exercise we're going to do is a bicep curl, so we're going to take our resistance bands again and we're going to do 30 to 45 seconds. Make sure you squeeze those arms at the top. The next movement is going to be a tricep kickback. 
So we're going to take our resistance bands in each hand. We're going to bend over, position our arms at roughly 90 degrees, and then we're simply going to push the handles away from us. Make sure that you squeeze those triceps as you push back. Okay, so the next exercise is going to be mountain climbers and this is going to work on our core. So we're going to go to the floor, so we're going to position our hands roughly shoulder width apart and all we're going to do is alternate left knee to left elbow, right knee to right elbow, 30 to 45 seconds. final exercise it's going to be toe taps so we're going to sit on the floor again we're going to lie on our backs we're going to lift our legs in the air and we're going to crunch and aim to touch our toes Okay guys, so that's all eight movements. You can now take one minute's rest before starting the next round. Like I said, I'd recommend doing four to five rounds. Try and aim 30 to 45 seconds for each exercise. And that's gonna provide you with 15 to 20 minutes of work. Um, like I said, it's gonna be a good high intensity session. Uh, there's some strength and conditioning in there. It's gonna elevate your heart rate. And it's gonna be a good overall workout, working your body from top to bottom. I hope you enjoyed today's video guys. Um, if you did, make sure that you drop it a like, comment below what you'd like to see more of, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and following Active Finland on their other social media accounts, Facebook and Instagram. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, uh.